Unity made a huge mistake and they're in big trouble. They lost the biggest and most important thing they had, the trust of their community. Yes, I'm talking about their horrible decision about pricing. It's been like 5 months, they fixed it and put down most of the fire, but the damage has already been done. The developers felt betrayed and started looking for an alternative game engine to Unity. I was one of those lost developers too, and I don't want you to get lost like me. That's why I put so many days into learning a new game engine and made this video for you. But how are we gonna decide which game engine to use? I searched for a game engine for a while and almost gave up. But then, one day, I found something in the junk it was an ugly blue robot named Godot. I felt so sad for the little dude, so instead of throwing him back to the junkyard, I wanted to give him a chance. And this is how I met up with the Godot game engine. The logo looks terrible, but is it any good at actual game development? So let's use it and see if it can heal the wounds that Unity gave us. Hey, welcome to my home, Godot. Just tell me if you need anything, alright? Hey, did you just call me a furry? Alright, seems like he's speaking a different kind of language called GD Script. So, in order to communicate with him, I had to learn GD Script, and I did. Like every beginner, I went to YouTube and dive into the endless tutorial hell. As a very creative person, I started by writing Hello World to the console. After that, I learned how to access different nodes in other objects and played with some physics. Whee! Then I learned how to take inputs and made a basic character controller. I want to be more American-like, so we can now shoot bullets with our gun. Also, we can throw mines for self-defense, but they work more like ice hockey balls. It was fun to hang out with Godot, but this engine was too good to be true. So, there should be some downsides too, right? Yeah, you're right. Like every other game engine, Godot is not perfect as well. First off, there are some problems with the autocomplete while writing code, especially when you're trying to access a reference value inside the script. The code still works, but it's not showing up the results I can use. Another big problem is the community and the lack of resources. Believe me, it really has limited resources and I had trouble finding some tutorials and got stuck. I'm not too surprised though, and it's totally understandable. What is like a baby game engine after all, compared to those boomers. I mean, freaking Unity is almost at the same age as me. Don't get me wrong, I love the community and how passionate they are, but there are miles between Unity and Godot in terms of tutorials and resources. The engine doesn't feel completed yet, but I love the workflow. It's really fun to use this node tree. That's why if Unity makes something stupid again, I can confidently say that I will switch up the Godot. But for now, I'll keep developing games on Unity. Don't worry though, Godot is fine. He's gonna live inside my house rent free after all. Oh, I love you too. I still don't understand what he's saying. I should probably keep learning GD script. Uh, he called me a furry again, right? Whatever, it doesn't matter anymore. My overall experience says that Godot was pretty good, so you should choose it, right? My answer is stop thinking about the game engines. It doesn't matter which game engine you use. Just choose the engine that fits your game and style. Like a wise man said, the taste of the food is not about the kitchen. It is the chef who is cooking the meal. The kitchen is just a tool. Choose the game engine you most enjoy and make great games that you can be proud of. My final thoughts about Godot are, it's the best open source game engine you can use. The GD script was very easy to learn compared to C Sharp or C++, and you can do basically everything with it. Also, the documentation is really perfect. You can learn almost everything by yourself just by reading it. It's clean and very easy to read. So if you're planning to switch up to Godot, go on and have fun. I know it will improve massively in the future and will get better each year with this wonderful community it has. But let's say you want to make a different kind of game. A more blocky one, like Roblox. Yeah, I used Roblox Studio for a while and you can watch this video to hear my thoughts about it. It was a nightmare for me, but who knows, maybe you like it. 